Hello friends, this video on coordination compound part 20 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Simple example. We have to explain why CuNH36 with plus 3 charge is in orbital while NiNH36 with 2 plus charge is out orbital. Both, if you see, the ligands are strong field ligands. In both cases. Strong field. See this. So let's take the example of CuNH36. The plus 3 charge here, the charge in cobalt will be plus 3. Cobalt plus 3 charge is 3D6. Because cobalt is 3D7, 4S2. Okay. With this and the strong field again, this is octahedral 6 here, so I can draw. So this is like this, P2G3, EG2. So I have six electrons to fill, one, two, three, fourth will come here, fifth will come here, sixth will come here. Why? Because delta naught is plus, right? And it's six. It's, since this is the case, we can see that, now if you form the complex, these two orbitals will be used. Right? So it's called inner an orbital. The other ligands will form bond with this. So it will be D2S. The hybridization will be D2SP3. Because there are six orbitals required. So two of these do D will be used, and the next S1 will be used, and the next 3P will be used to get six counted. 2 plus 1 plus 6. D2SP3 hybridization, and this is nothing but inner orbital complex. Okay, let's talk about the next one. NiNS36, 2 plus nickel has plus 2 charge here. Nickel plus 2 charge is 3D8 because nickel is 3D8, 4S2. Okay, since it is again octahedral, so I can write something like this. Here also delta naught is large. So 8 here to put 1, 2, 3, 4th will come here, 5th will come here, 6th will come here. 7th will come here, 8th will come here. Correct? Why 8th will not be here? Because 8th has a better option of coming here. So this is how the electrons will be filled. Now since this electron is filled in this fashion, so d orbital is not free. d2 sp3, in fact, even if let's suppose somehow, we assume that this ns3 is very strong and it can pull this here. So then we'll get d sp3 d. That is not possible because if we use one of this d orbital and then s and then 3p and then 1d because we need 6 orbitals, right? So that is not possible. So this will not be used. So in this case, the hybridization will be sp3d2. Since it is using sp3d2 hybridization, it is called outer complex because the inner d orbital is not used here. The inner d orbital is used where the outer d orbital is used. Okay. Let's take this numerical here. We have to predict the number of unpaired electrons in the square planar PTCN42 minus. It is given that it is square planar. Square planar is DSP2. You know this hybridization. So the hybridization is given. We have to predict the number of unpaired electrons. Looks like we need to use valence bond theory here. We could use the other theory also, crystal field theory. But since in the valence bond theory, either hybridization is given you have to find the unpaired electron or unpaired electron is given you have to find the hybridization. So let's use the valence bond theory here Pt Cn4 2 minus this is minus 4 minus this will be plus 2 yeah so platinum will have plus 2 charge so platinum electronic configuration Pt2 plus is 5d8 okay and this is what? 4, right? So, as per valence bond theory, we are not doing uh, creating uh, orbitals in the E2G and TTG form. We are just pointing like this. This is 5D. And then we have S, and then I have P. Okay? Now, it says that this S 
P2, that is it is sp2 hybridization. Okay, these 1, 2, 3, 4 orbitals are used. That means all the electrons are in this 4 orbitals only and we have 8 electrons to fill. So 8 electrons will be filled 1, 2, 3, 4. I can't fill in this 5, 6, 7, 8. I can't fill in this because this orbital is used for bonding dsp2 hybridization. That means this is the structure of PTCN4 and these are all actually find the structure this is how it goes this is D and this is BSP2 hybridization and now all these will have two electrons each so this is the structure so in this case if you see how many lone pairs zero lone pairs so if you want to find the number of unpaired electrons sorry not lone pair unpaired electron if you want to find the number of unpaired electron in this case the answer is zero there is zero unpaired electron Okay, we knew the structure square planar and with that we could predict that there are zero unpaired electron in this case. Okay. Let's take another example. The hexa actual manganese 2 ion. Hexa actual manganese 2 ion that is Mg and 6 Fo. And Mg has a plus 2 charge, so more or it will have plus 2 charge. Ion contains 5 unpaired electron. Five unpaired electron. While the hexa sino ion, same thing. Instead of water, you have sino, and this will also have plus two charge, so it will have minus four charge here overall. Because this has minus six, this is zero. Plus two plus zero is plus two, plus two minus six is minus four. Okay, so this has only one unpaired electron. And we have to explain using crystal field theory. Both has manganese here, but the ligands are different. This is a weak ligand, water is a weak ligand, and Cn is a strong ligand. Let's draw Mg2 plus. Mg2 plus Mg manganese is 3D5 4S2. So Mg2 plus will be 3D5 4S0. Okay. And since it is tetrahedral, so my this will be the splitting of d orbital. This will be P2G and this will be EG. Okay. So in, in case of water, in case of water, what will happen? This is a weak ligand. It will not force. So let me first draw for the case of water. Let me draw a water case here. So I'll draw a water case here. Okay. In case of water, water is a weak ligand, it won't force pairing. So what will happen is all the five electrons will be here. One, two, three, four. In case of this is the case of let's suppose MgCn six four minus. Okay, this is my T2G and this is Eg. So here Cn minus is a strong ligand. It will force pairing. First electron will come here. Second will come here. Third will come here. Fourth will be forced to pair. Fifth will again be forced to pair. So if you see in this case there are five unpaired electron, and in this case there is only one unpaired electron. It's a crystal field theory explains this behavior. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attend free online tests, get pre-study materials, find tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.